Okay, I needed to shoot a quick video because I'm so proud of this thing. Uh, I routinely watch Craigslist and I have certain keywords that I, that I look for. I always search for oscilloscope and ham radio and, and a bunch of other things, some Agilent, Keysight, uh, Fluke, uh, I don't know, different things, Keithley. So Spectrum Analyzer is one of the things I watch and there's quite a few of them for sale um, that, that come up for sale. And most of them are way out of my budget, usually around $1,900, $2,000 for a nice one or something like that. Mm, I saw one that's broken. The guy wanted $800 for it, broken. Uh, so anyway, uh, I've, I've noticed this one and I've been watching it for about a month and I don't really want to spend the money. I already have spectrum analyzers. I don't need another one, but they are one of those things that are really nice, um, especially a good one. The, the HP 8921 that I always show off, you know, it's a really good uh, radio monitor um, test setup, but you know, the spectrum analyzer is good in it, but it's not great. Um, and a dedicated spectrum analyzer can do a whole lot more and a whole lot better. So anyway, like I said, I, I watched the uh, I watched the ads for them, and uh, this one was was within a reasonable price range, but it was still too much that I wanted to pay for. So I I emailed the guy and said, Hey, look, if you don't find a buyer, then please don't throw it away. You know, try to find a buyer because you know these things should be in the hands of people who who want to use them. But but please don't throw it away. If, if you do just need to get rid of it, you know, I'll, I'll be your, I'll be your bottom and, and I'll get it and uh, it'll go to a good home. I have a YouTube channel, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, uh, it turns out the guy is moving to Colorado and needs to clean out his garage. Uh, so uh, long story short, $250 later, I have a new spectrum analyzer. Now, if you're familiar with these, these were like the bread and butter of spectrum analyzers that Hewlett Packard made. There was the uh, 8590 series, and there was a whole bunch of them, all different frequency ranges, all different price points, all different features and everything. Um, so this is uh, kind of a mid-range one, I would say. It's mid-range in that it's low frequency. It only goes to 1.8 gigahertz and it doesn't have the tracking generator option. So that was an option this one came with and it didn't have that. I'm really sorry it doesn't. That would be a really nice feature. I don't know if I can add it or not, but that would be a really nice feature. But uh, the guy took a photograph of the back of it. So if, you've ever, if you're ever in the market for any type of HP equipment, make sure you look at the photograph on the back. And um, I'll, I'll try to insert a photo here showing you the back and there's a couple numbers on the back uh, uh, for options one of the options was the uh, gpib option or hpib option for controlling it with a computer and the other option was kind of an oddball option number 140. It took me a while to figure out what number 140 was and number one number 140 was uh, an option that was actually two options if you bought 140 you got two different options at the same time one of the options is an oven controlled oscillator. So this thing is super accurate, um, 0.007% or something like that, uh, something, something crazy. Um, so anyway, it's got a, a, an oven in it. And so it should be really, really stable. Um, but the really, really good one was it came with the a high, uh, the very low bandwidth option. So this will go down to 30 Hertz, uh, three zero Hertz. Uh, so it has an option where it's, uh, 30 hertz, 100 hertz, 300 hertz. That was the option that you bought. And uh, yeah, this one comes with it. So I can measure down to a 30 hertz, uh, uh, 30 hertz deviation between things. And so this thing will actually run down to, it's specified down to one kilohertz. It'll go from one kilohertz to 1.8 gigahertz. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, I, I've played with these in the past, used them in the past, um, but only cursory. I'm not an RF designer. Um, I had a spectrum analyzer for some reason. I don't remember what it was now. And it was a, it was a 8590 series like this one. Um, so I'm a little bit familiar with the, with the front panel layout, but 
this one does so much. Um, and it came with all the manuals and stuff too. So it turns out the guy worked at HP, of course, around here, like everybody who worked at HP has a bunch of test equipment laying in the garage. Uh, so, uh, like I said, he, he was moving out of town and I got it. And so you will see it, uh, be prominent in a bunch of new videos. There were some signals that I had a hard time figuring out what was real and what wasn't real. So now I have, I have the perfect tiebreaker here. This one, this one should be good. Uh, let me show you, sorry about standing in front of the camera. Uh, that was just an FM signal I had going in there. Let me hook, hook it up to an antenna. And um, uh, you can hit the uh, preset button. The preset button just puts it all back to ground zero. And so it should uh, be up and running again. And I noticed this, this thing here popping up and down was pretty cool. Let me, let me get the camera a little bit closer. Okay, so this one was popping up and down. So I said, oh, that's interesting. I wonder what that is. So uh, marker uh, seems to be around 870. So frequency 870 megahertz, and let's span 10 megahertz. And yeah, there it is over there. So I can hit frequency and I can actually scroll over to it. So you can see how fast this thing is scrolling around. And uh, if you hit span, you can actually, uh, you can actually zoom out and you can zoom in. So that's, that's super cool. You can do amplitude, you can shift it up and down. So, it, it, it feels like an analog uh, spectrum analyzer, which it mostly is, but it's not. Um, it, it is digital, but a lot of, a lot of the uh, internal circuitry is, um, is analog. Now this is a um, um, digital data. This is uh, Wi-Fi. So it's around 6, 665, something like 865. Um, so you can watch the, uh, watch the data go by, so. Anyway, like I said, uh, it will be in up and coming videos.